It's just over uh, nearly two weeks now since we've had the new Labour government elected and obviously we wish them well in uh, the challenges which they face in the future. Unfortunately one of the first announcements they've made is something we cannot possibly support as local guardians of the countryside. Ed Miliband, the Labour Energy Secretary has waved through two major applications in Lincolnshire, one near Stamford, one near Gainsborough, 4,000 acres in total. So if you add up all the uh, permissions and what's already up and running, we estimate there's about 30,000 acres of Lincolnshire which is up for having solar farms. And if you listen to the rhetoric of the government where they're basically saying we're going to just have as much as possible, that figure will easily double. So as we've always said as the County Council, we do support a sensible uh, carbon reduction agenda. And for example, of our own uh, policies, we have reduced our own carbon footprint by 72% ahead of uh, the previous government's target. But we have to say that we do not want the industrialization of rural Lincolnshire by this Labour government. There needs to be sense. On the one hand, they're talking about devolution, on the other hand, they just say they're going to steamroller through all these projects. And as we know, as elected representative, there are many people in, in areas around our county who are very concerned now about what the future lies. We're not saying no to everything, but we can't just stand idly by and watch our beautiful country and our wonderful residents being overwhelmed by an industrialisation of beautiful Lincolnshire. It is clear now that uh, Lincolnshire's beautiful landscapes and countryside is under unprecedented attack from what is supposed to be a green revolution about protecting our environment for future generations. We are supportive of solar on brownfield land, industrial used land, on rooftops, we do that on our own buildings, uh, but we are not supportive of solar on good quality agricultural land. We need to remember that Lincolnshire is one of the areas of the UK that grows the food for the nation and that land must be protected if we're going to have food security going forward. We are very clear that we need to work with our communities so we can collectively stand up for Lincolnshire and send a message to the government that whilst we will support their agenda, we will not allow Lincolnshire to be overwhelmed by unprecedented development. We're going to start with our MPs and make sure that they are joined with us in this message, the government, and then not just the MPs, but all councils need to also embrace this position. Uh, so we can send an overwhelming message from the whole of Lincolnshire that we do not want to pursue this pathway. Let me tell you, the character of Lincolnshire will be changed forever if we do not stand up and fight for our beautiful county.